part of the concern of some people your age as they consider going to a school like San Juan Diego is that will they find friends there? You mentioned that you made a choice mm -hmm. and some of your friends didn't really understand that mm -hmm. choice, but you decided to move on anyway with that yeah. choice and you have not regretted that. What about finding some of the friends that you have at San Juan Diego? Have you been fortunate to find some? Oh my gosh, yes, I have. Um, when we did training for my freshman year, we were all trained to train for our corporate work city jobs. And um, I was sitting at a table by myself because I didn't expect to get friends on the first day. And one of my friends, or new friends, she came over and she asked if I could sit with her. And I was like, okay. And I was sitting there drawing. I love Harry Potter on a paper, <laughs> and they, she was Good. like, oh, you love Harry Potter? And I was like, yeah. And I was like, so excited because in public school, none of my friends liked Harry Potter. I was the only one with that taste. And um, the next day, a few more came, friends came, and like <laughs> they all loved Harry Potter. And that was the first thing that I told my mom. I was like, mom, mom, all my friends love Harry Potter. Isn't that great? I was just excited about that. But you know, Father, <laughs> it sounds to me like Anna's one of those students whose quality Anybody who loves Harry Potter has to have some quality <laughs> to it. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it seems to me that she is an exceptional student. Mm -hmm. But you are reaching out to all types of students. If someone watching this program exactly. is saying, well, my child is not the best student in the world, mm -hmm. there is a place for a person like that at San Juan Diego? We reach out to all, uh, all students. It's most important that students be hardworking and motivated. That is to say, what we look for in students are hardworking, motivated students who want to be in the corporate world, essentially earning their college prep mm -hmm. studies. So it's students like Ana who, who have the motivation, mm -hmm. who in, in Spanish, as we say, have the ganas to succeed. So mm -hmm. it's helping to, to, to give them a hand up. These are hardworking students. They're not looking for a hand out. They're looking for a hand up. Mm -hmm. Incredibly, at San Juan de Catholic High School, 83% of our students come to us from the public schools of Austin. 95% of our students represent the minority populations of Austin. But 100%, all of our students, graduate with an advanced diploma of 30 credits, with four years of experience in the corporate world, and with a co quality college preparatory education. It sounds to me like you are saints. <laughs> because you know, Anna, saints reflect that light of God's grace and God's goodness. And it seems to me that there's a real spirit in this community. And a spirit that's going to, and using your metaphor and illustration, take root in the Austin community. What would you like to say, Anna, before we have our break and George joins us, what would you want to say to those students who are wondering if maybe they want to consider a San Juan Diego? I think that they definitely should take into consi consideration because San Juan Diego, it, a lot of, in my niece, um, she's 14 years old and she, she's going to be going into high school this year mm -hmm. and she wants to go to public school and I'm like, well, you're not going to have all the opportunities that San Juan Diego gives. And she says, well, I don't want to go. I'm not going to be cool. You're just, you don't have any friends. I have a lot of friends. She was <laughs> wrong about that. And um, she, was, she said that, well, I hate the dress code. I don't want to be dressing like that. And I, I hated it, too. I didn't want to be dressing up every day. I'd rather wear jeans or something. But um, actually, I, now I love the dress code. And um, I got used to it. And it takes time get, getting used to it. And you have to be patient and understanding. And it's a great opportunity. You get to do um, corporate work city jobs and you are offered things that not a public school is offered. Well, and I think what it does is what Father said to me, this is an option. It may not be for everybody, but it certainly has been for you, Ana Ruiz, and I, you have a wonderful future ahead of you. Thanks for being an Austin Faith Dialogue, and we hope that all of you in our viewing audience will stay with us as we talk further about San Juan Diego High School, its history, and also have Father Jamie tell us more about the future as we meet another student of San Juan Diego High School. Stay with us on Austin Faith Dialogue, Education That Works. Bilingual, and that's the future. Welcome back to Austin Faith Dialogue. Here I am talking with Father Jamie, and you're coming back and being with us, but we have a, a new student with us from San Juan Diego. George Paz, the man of peace. Is that right, George? Okay. Welcome. Sure. You are a junior, going to become a senior this next year. Is that right? Of course. Yes, it is. And you uh, heard what Anna had to say about San Juan Diego. And now we're going to put you on the spot and say, George, uh, you've already told me that your mom and dad, you all decided that you were going to go to this high school. What have you found out? You'll be a senior next year. What benefit have you received from attending the school? Um, 
the fact that I got to supply my own tuition or own it in a way, um, I, I've grown up with my parents my whole life. My dad has been working t two jobs, you know. My mom was in work too, and we, we, we struggled. But, I mean, the fact that I, I could help them gain myself a better education, um, which is what they've always worked for, is to better me. I think that's what I, I liked about it, was mm -hmm. the fact that I could help them. Mm -hmm. Uh, Father, uh, George has mentioned this about uh, the option, and I think that's important because one of the things that we've done on Austin Faith Dialogue in the 20 years, George, is we've tried to tell how important education is in all the forms, parochial education, public education, university education, all the different expressions of education. San Juan Diego, uh, Bishop Amon's dream, uh, is, is an option. It's not for everybody, but it certainly is for Anna and for George. That's right. Tell us about why it could be an option uh, for many people. It's an education that works, but George is one who says, and listen, young man, I'm very impressed <laughs> with you because you're saying, here, Dad's working a couple jobs. This, yeah. this is amazing stuff. These are wonderful young people. That's right. So what do you think is the option that San Juan Diego gives to us? What's great about San Juan Diego is that in a city where nearly 40 percent mm -hmm. of our Hispanic youth are dropping out of school, San Juan Diego provides an environment in which they can be successful. Mm -hmm. We have small class sizes, so students receive more individual attention and individual instruction, but it's, sim it's a community of support for these young people so that from the very first day that they're with us, we get them dreaming about the future and the contribution that they want to be making to this world and to our society. Something about self-worth, George, is what I hear fathers saying. You know, we are a faith program, and we talk about God, and we talk about having a sense of being the children of God. But, you know, you, you're a young man, and you have a future, and that's what they're investing. Your parents have, and the high school is. What do you want to do as you look at your senior year and following your senior year in high school? Actually, um, that's where the corporate work study comes in for me. I, um, I've been to many jobs law firms, schools, and um, this current year I worked at Deloitte & Tush, and there I got, to, I got to work on like advertisement stuff and projects, and it piqued my interest in business and marketing, and that's, that's where I see myself in a couple of years is in school, in, at NYU, the student of business, studying um, advertisement and marketing. Did you hear that, Father? That's he right. didn't say St. Louis University, <laughs> all right? <laughs> You're not going to hold that against him, right? <laughs> Two degrees from St. Louis we, University? We want these students not to be graduating simply from high school, but to be graduating from college. So if, when our students are dreaming about possibilities of studying from college, <laughs> we support them wherever it is that they want to be studying. Not even Notre Dame and the Golden <laughs> right. Dome and all that kind of stuff. New York University, he has some real That's aspirations. Right. That's right. Pretty exciting stuff. You mentioned that 100% of the student body. When I mm -hmm. saw that news program that talked about your school and one's graduate, I said, I have to have them on Austin Faith Dialogue because mm -hmm. that's, that's a tremendous record. Mm -hmm. But it's not just a matter of saying that we are sending them off to college. There's something even more. George, are you believing in yourself? Um, actually, now more than ever before. Mm -hmm. I, I've seen myself um, accomplish so much more now that I've chosen you know, San Juan Diego. I mean, this past week I was just at Boy State. I mean, our teachers really look into what we do and they consider us like a regular person, not just a student, but someone who can st achieve more than just what we get. Yeah. I, I think part of it is that our, our students are working side by side with adults in the professional world. And so these adults with whom they work, these professionals, they treat them like young professionals, and it does, it, it's amazing the effect that it has on the self-esteem of a young person, a 14, 15-year-old from the minority communities of Austin, how it is that it, it gives them confidence that they've never had before. I, I'm just delighted to have you here, Father. You are <laughs> excited you. about this. I'm tremendously excited and, about this. And this corporate relationship is so mm -hmm. important, but George, you don't spend all your time working with the corporate community. How about those teachers in your classrooms? Do they challenge you at all? Um, actually, the, uh, our physics teacher, Mr. Applewhite, this past year, he, I mean, every day was homework, read this, do the chapter assessment, do vocabulary. I mean, 